Hi girls and boys! In honor of Hanukkah, we are going to bake and build our very own 3D dreidel cookies. Here are the baking supplies that we'll need. A mixing bowl, a rolling pin, a plastic knife, measuring spoons, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, and a quarter of a teaspoon, measuring cups, a cup, a half a cup, and a quarter of a cup, a spoon for mixing, a few sheets of parchment paper, and lastly a baking sheet. For the ingredients, we'll need flour, sugar, oil, vanilla extract, salt, two eggs, and baking powder. Lastly, we're gonna need dreidel cutouts, clear packing tape, and scissors. Soon you'll see why. Let's get started by preheating the oven to 350. Ask an adult if you need help. We will begin by making our dreidel dough. Measure out one and a quarter cup of sugar into the bowl. Start with measuring first the one cup, then the quarter cup. Next, crack the eggs one at a time, first checking to make sure there are no blood spots. We want to be sure these cookies stay kosher. And splash, there goes the second egg. Next, we'll measure one teaspoon of vanilla. Pour it into the bowl. Then we will give this mixture a good stir with our handy wooden spoon. Be sure to combine the ingredients well. Next, measure out two cups of flour and dump them into the mixing bowl. While you're mixing, take a moment to imagine. Don't close your eyes because then who knows where your dough will end up. But just imagine with your eyes open. Imagine coming to school one day. It's the day you're meant to have a test or a quiz, which you're not so in the mood of because you didn't study as well as you would have liked. Hold tight while we add the next couple of ingredients. Measure one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt into the bowl, then mix. Guess what happens next in our imaginary story? You are dreading this day, but when the bell rings, a pleasant surprise walks through the door. It's a substitute. Hooray, your teacher is absent, which means there won't be any test today. Quick intermission to add the oil. Measure out a half a cup of this, pour it in the bowl, and mix. Back to school. During recess, you sit and chat with a few friends. Suddenly, one friend suggests, let's go hide from the substitute. We can go to the bathroom downstairs and stay there. The teacher will be so confused and won't know where we went. By the time the substitute finds out, we will have wasted a whole lot of class time. We will sit in suspense for a minute as we take out our dreidel cutouts, which we will coat with clear packing tape so that they can be more easily used with our cookie dough. Once they are covered, we will cut them out so that we have just the dreidel shapes. After, I have a little secret to tell you, which is that these dreidels have a lot to do with the imaginary story I'm telling you. Soon you'll find out why. Let's go back to our friend's plan. You don't think this is a good idea. You think it's wrong to be disrespectful to the substitute. What would you do? Would you tell your friends that you think it's wrong to hide from the teacher? Would you tell them your opinion even if you know they will disagree with you and maybe even make fun of you? It takes a lot of courage to do the right thing when you are the only one who is making the right choice. Now roll out the dough using your hands to first flatten it and then the rolling pin to get it to about a quarter of an inch in thickness. Not too thick and not too thin. Once we've got it to the right thickness, we will place the first dreidel tracer on top of the dough. Using the plastic knife, cut around the edges of the tracer, including the slit that goes through the middle of the dreidel. Remove the extra dough and put it to the side. Who can figure out what these dreidels have to do with having courage? Well, during the times of Hanukkah, the young children learning Torah also needed a lot of courage. They would hide in caves to learn Torah. If the Greeks found them, they would be in great danger. So they came up with a brilliant plan. They would be prepared with the dreidel at hand at all times. If anyone would come, they would pretend that they were playing dreidel. When we play dreidel on this Yom Tif, we can remember the courage that these children had to learn Torah. And every time you stand up to do the right thing, even if it's hard, you are brave just like the children who lived through the story of Hanukkah. Just as they found it in themselves to have courage and do the right thing, we too can do the same. Can you think of some examples where you can choose to make the right choice, even if others around you are not? Alright, once we have finished cutting out this first dreidel cookie, we will place it on a prepared baking sheet. Carefully peel off the tracer, we wouldn't want to accidentally bake it. 
Next, we will do the entire process again with the second dreidel tracer, rolling out the dough and cutting out the shape. Place the second cookie on the baking sheet, again carefully peeling off the tracer. If either of the cookies got a little out of shape in the process of transferring them, you can use the knife to fix that. Bake for 12 to 15 minutes until slightly brown on the edges. And now for building our 3D dreidel. If the slits in the dreidels are not quite wide enough, you can carefully shave off some of them so they can fit together. Now try giving our 3D dreidel cookie a spin. Have a happy Hanukkah and we hope to see you next week.